And we're back. This episode, we're going to the Trip Trap to try to get at some of Holly's sister's belongings um, before she burns them, as uh, appears to be a funeral, right, with trolls or something like that. And they love us so much. They do. I feel like we're eventually just going to get immediately shot the second we walk in the door one of these days. <laughs> Closed due to bereavement. <laughs> He's asleep, you fucking idiot. He didn't even give me a check. Dude. Read the sign! <laughs> Read the sign. I'm gonna knock politely. Hang on. We're closed. I need to talk to Holly. Hey, look, Woody, it's the sheriff. Well, come on in, buddy. <laughs> Someone's drunk? Brent, what? He's a traveler. A weary traveler in search of some <clears throat> hospitality, right? Right? I mean, you must not be feeling too good after that shit show. Yeah, sure. Thanks. I want a drink. Anybody else want a drink? Friend, Swinehart said you shouldn't mix you it You think with... I give a fuck what that fucking guy says? Or what you say? Grant, really, you... you shouldn't drink right now. I can't hear you when you mumble. Swinehart told me that Holly was here. I need to talk to her. Holly's asleep in back, but you won't be able to wake her. Really? The doc gave him both barmesidal ambrosia for the pain. Look, the deal is, if you resist going to sleep like I am right now, it gives you a very, <laughs> very, very nice high. And he said that he shouldn't mix it with alcohol. Yes, he did. He certainly did. But let me tell you something. I haven't felt this good in a long time, fat boy. I'm after Crane, all right? The guy we all hate? And there's a time limit here, so try and focus for a minute. Crane? We'll get to whatever you're here for in a sec. That funeral back there? That was a shitty fucking send-off for a pretty okay lady. Yeah. You weren't fucking there. I'm talking to Bigby now, okay? Can't say you being there helped things much. Gren, don't start nothing. Who's starting anything? I'm not. You think I shot up the place? It wasn't my fault. They got away though, didn't they? Whatever. It's all right. I'm too out of it to get into it. I want to clear the air. We're all in this dung heap of a fucking shit town together. And we're all gonna have a toast. All of us. Fellas, I'm here for one thing. To look through Lily's belongings and get out of here. Now, yeah, I... yeah, I know, I know. And I want to help you, okay? And I will. But first, indulge me. It'll take two seconds. As a show of good faith, and after, we'll all hunt and peck for Lily's shit or whatever. Grand Bigby didn't come here to get loaded with you. I'll drink, screw it. To the dead. All right, now help me. Grand. The doc said you needed to rest. How many times you fucking gonna warn me about it, huh? You're not my fucking mother, so just get off my back! I said I was sorry, alright? I can't do anything about it, it's done! Uh, 
Well, this is going well. What more do you want? What else can I fucking say here? I don't want anything from you, Woody. Cut this shit out now. I don't care what it's about. Oh, I forgot. You haven't heard the news. This walking lard cake was paying Holly's sister to let him fuck her behind all of our backs. And Holly had to find out going through all of her sister's shit. What fun that must have been. Trick after trick of this fat ass and Lily. I didn't plan for that, all right? And our thing, whatever it was, it wasn't a big deal. It wasn't. I never fucked her when she was snowing. I didn't know nothing about that. No, but you knew <laughs> Holly would flip out. And you knew for a damn good fucking reason. You know what? Fuck this. I don't need this shit. Oh yeah, that's it. Now you're teary-eyed. You were always such a low life. I don't know why I never realized it till now. What do you think about this fucking loser, Sheriff? He can think whatever he wants. I don't give a shit. I think whatever happened was between them. And Lily is dead. So let's put this whole thing to rest, Gray. Yeah, I defended you. Don't look surprised. She was offering a service and you were paying her for it. There's nothing wrong with that. Like... Gran. I, I don't know why that would be bad. I don't know where Lily's shit is. Check Holly's room, I don't know. But I wouldn't wake her if I were you. Sleepwalkers and trolls. I think that's the rule. If I can't find her stuff, I might have to. Actually, Big B, if you'll excuse me, it seems that I'm gonna <laughs> pass out. What a day. Am I right, Sheriff? What a fucking day. <laughs> Grin won't <laughs> remember this. <laughs> that's oh, that's too funny. <laughs> Welp. Um, there's a crate of alcohol. Yeah, we don't need to wake her if we absolutely, yeah. We just need to find her things, right? Yeah. Can you ply her with alcohol so she won't wake up? I don't know. <laughs> Pour it down her gullet. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there we go. Well, that isn't quite what I meant, but it worked. It's that brooch again. Mm -hmm. <sighs> that you, Woody? Oh. No, Holly. It's me, Big B. Big B. Bar's closed. And excuse me, but I'm not in the mood for entertaining. But what the fuck? I know you're not gonna leave. You do what you want. You always do what you want. Alrighty then. Well, uh, at least she's not mad. Yet. Bottle of wine. That's oh, a, it's a vintage, a 1934. That's a familiar looking you wine bottle. give a shit about us? The strays. The ones that aren't in that fancy high rise. Holly, just because I live in the woodlands doesn't mean I'm not one of your strays. I'm not Crane or Cole. I didn't exactly grow up wearing clothes. Yeah, I know you didn't. That was a nice thing to say. Mm-hmm. Why do you even come here? There's nothing here to investigate. I can't be any use to you. I need to, uh, look through your sister's things. To look for clues? Um, if you want to put it that way. Um, uh, a glamour tube. Yep. Nope. 
Oh. I already thought we had the glamour tube of lilies. Well, we've got a few of them. Um, Unless we gave it back to her, because that brooch we originally had, so we've obviously given it back. Being oh. this sheriff, why are you going after him? The guy that killed Lily. You could have quit a long time ago, but you're still going. Why? Did they give you this job for a reason? Or was this the only thing the business office would let you do? I'm doing this for All of the above. Oh, hmm. at least you're honest. You just remember whatever bullshit excuse you tell yourself. I'm counting on you. So don't have any more fuck up. Yes, ma'am. That address book could have the address of uh, the uh, witch. No, because we know her name. We just didn't know where it was. We're getting your glamour mm -hmm. on this day. And one of these has to be the witch. A.G. Greenleaf. Gotcha. Hello, this is Snow White calling. I'm looking for Bigby. Is anyone there? Bigby, if you're there, pick up, okay? Snow? Oh, thank God. Tell me you found something. I got it, Snow. Her address was here with Lily's things. It's on, uh, White Plains Avenue, 1284. It's an apartment complex. Great. Let's get going. All right, let's go. I don't want to miss him. I'll meet you there. All right, I'll see you there. Looks so like we got all the information we needed, then. Yeah, it looks like we completely bypassed going to the Tweedle's office completely. Big B! I just got here. Yeah, me too. It's number 23. I haven't seen it yet. We're late. Yeah, I know. This is it. Oh, right. we're late, though. How do you want to do this? That's kind of weird. I don't think I was late last time, but I've only been to two places instead of all three. That is extremely strange. Sheriff's Department, I'm gonna need you to open the door immediately. <clears throat> Hello? Hi. You woke me up. Uh, sorry about that. Is something wrong? Well, pardon the intrusion. I wasn't aware this was a munchkin's house. Well, Dorothy, it isn't. <laughs> <laughs> Sharp kid. <laughs> Dorothy's a girl's name, you know. And, uh, if I was any less secure in my manhood, I might take it as an insult. What's your name? Rachel. <laughs> What's yours? Just so... we're not strangers. I'm Bigby. This is Snow. Pleased to meet you. How do you do? Is there, um... Is there anything you need? I'm not allowed to let people in. We're looking for a man. A skinny, pale, nervous fella. Have you seen him? My art teacher says men are a waste of time. Wow. Do you go to school? <laughs> Sometimes. Is there... Uh, something you want? Rachel, do you mind if I take just a quick peek around? We'll be very quick, and he won't touch anything. I've been here all night. Nobody's been here. Okay, Bigby. I'm gonna trust you not to break anything. Don't get me in trouble. What are we looking for specifically? Crane. He could still be here. Hmm. Okay, let's do some investigating. It's... Pretty rare to see a burner like this. I'm gonna say it's not gonna be in there. Dowdy. That's how we like it. I'm not necessarily just looking around for him. <laughs> no. Are you in the tree? What is this? <laughs> Mommy uses that to carve her trinkets. It's from the old world. Trinkets? Um like glamours? I like the shrug. Not here. There's no one here but me.
Your mama hunter? Oh no, she never... That was found in the woods around Dick's Mountain. I think. Dick's Mountain? It's a portrait. That your mom? Uh-huh. Let me guess. Big band or classical? Honky tonk. <laughs> no wow. For taste. <laughs> okay. Cool. All right. Uh, closet door. Are you in there? The butcher. What's that? A package having to do with someone called the butcher. It's empty. There's nothing that looks like Crane was here either. Nothing? See? Snarky little brat. Well, let's interrogate her then. Oh, wait. Uh, no, no, no. There's. No one's been over all night. Let me look behind this. Mm. God damn it. I shouldn't say that. Nothing. I keep getting whiffs of that aftershave of his. I do too. Can I go to bed now? Please? Maybe that is him. Is that a glamour tube? Mommy really doesn't let anyone play with that. Trust me, I've tried. Oh, no, no, Break no, no, no. It. please, 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 just put that back exactly where you found it. No one is allowed to play with it's that. It's all right, honey. Bigby's not going to break no, it. Yes, he is. She will freak out if she discovers I've let people in here and let them touch her stuff, okay? She checks all the time to see if things move. I don't want to get in trouble. But I'm already grounded. I'm not going to break uh, it. That is great. I just want to open it. No, put it down. Please don't. This isn't what you think. You got to believe me. The guy isn't here, I promise. It's going to be okay, Rachel. Please. I'm begging you. I don't want to Do I don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> Anti green leaf. Ah, oh, wrong one. It hurts when you do it that fast. What? Why, Rachel? <laughs> Why the little girl? I don't think that's any of your business, Wolf. Why? How about because it works? That's why. I'm good enough for you. Even worked on you. Didn't know you had a soft spot for children. All right, start explaining. And from the beginning. Please, Greenleaf, just help us catch Crane. That's all we care about. That's not all we care about. Snow? You were nicer than I thought you would be when I was her. But if I help you, I can promise that help will not go unpunished. There's powers at work here beyond your pathetic authority. Whatever it is, Greenleaf, Whatever it is that's keeping you from saying something... We can protect you, okay? Whatever it is you're afraid of, we can make sure that it won't come to pass. You have no idea what's going on, do you? Okay, you know what I think? I think we've been more than patient with you. This witch has been selling illegal glamours that continue to undermine everything we've built. She's harboring a fugitive that took advantage of it, and now she's resisting every attempt to make things right. I frankly don't give a crap. If she's afraid for her life, we can at least make sure she never hurts us again. We're destroying the tree. No! How dare you come in here and threaten to take from me the one thing that... That tree is ancient. It's part of the family, and it's the only thing paying for this shithole apartment. And the fables who can't afford the glamours from you come to me for help. Without them, where do you think they could Don't go? give me that. You're making money off of other people's misery. Two fables are dead because of this crap. It's too dangerous leaving this stuff with her. You think I like being the old woman in these stories? The men are heroes, the ladies are whores, and the old hags like me get to watch everyone they love die. We have very different ways of handling our fate. Very different means to handle it, too. And I don't use it as an excuse to... Uh... Snow, it's too much. We can't ruin this yeah, life over this. 
ruin this woman's life? It's a slap on the wrist compared to what she's done. It really isn't. Bigby, this is an order. Burn the tree. Excuse no, no. you. Look, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Crane was here. He was here and he left. He went to the pudding and pie to try to use my ring on the girls over there to get information. What does the ring do? He thinks it's the ring of dispel. You know, that it will pierce the protection around the girl's speech. He says pulling the truth out of them will prove his innocence. It won't, though. Damn thing lost its power decades ago. I'm sorry, but we still can't let you keep the tree. It wouldn't be right after what's happened. Big B. Please. I don't know why I fat figured the recording button. <laughs> But for some reason, I felt like fat figuring the recording button. Um, will we burn the tree or will we not burn the tree? That will be a, the question that we will find out the answer to next time on The Wolf Among Us.